Martin is coming to the side in the middle of the order. Into the team for his first test match is Joe Angel. Those are the changes for the Australian side with Mark Taylor, 12th man. And so far as the West Indians are concerned, they've been forced to make changes because Jimmy Adams has come into the side for the injured Carl Hooper. That's a blow to the West Indian hopes. Carl Hooper is out with a hamstring problem. Jimmy Adams in there and Anderson Cummins is in for the injured Kenneth Benjamin. He has a knee and a hamstring problem as well. Gus Logie is the 12th man. Beautifully hit. It was in the air, but no chance for Desmond Haynes. And he's inside edge, this one, to the keeper. That also was a good ball. It cut back at him. Looked as though it was the inside edge. And Langer goes, attempting to drive Ian Bishop. First blood to the West Indies. Shout, gone! It's a breakthrough they needed the West Indies. It's two for 58. War knocking out of the road there. There's a bit of strife when you jump back and fend with your gloves and bat. A straight through catch. Two for 58. Big appeal there. Yes, he's got a little inside edge. War doesn't look too happy about it. Just a little glance down the wicket. Perhaps uh, he was looking at the wicket. See if we can pick up a nick there, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's probably the, the perfect length. That's a magnificent shot from David Boone. That's his bread and butter. Shouts of catch it, and Richie Richardson, the captain, has done that. And once again, Kirtley Ambrose does the job for his skipper. Just when they need breakthroughs, he's the man who seems to come up with them. And that is just the one they wanted. David Boone was the man holding together this Australian innings. And a shout. He's got him first ball. So Ambrose is now on a hat-trick, having got rid of Boone and Border in successive deliveries. And if the ball to get Boone was a good one, that was an absolute beauty. It drew Border into the stroke and cut away from him, just feathered the outside edge, and was taken by Junior Murray. Now the Australians in complete disarray here, 5 for 90 at the moment. Well, the hat-trick is avoided. Look there at uh, Kirtley Ambrose's record, 175 wickets. 39 matches. That'll be four, just wide of Richie Richardson. Most wickets in a test series for the West Indies against Australia. Malcolm Marshall, 28. 84 85. Kirtley Ambrose is just one behind that in the current series. And he's passed by one his performance in 88 89. Edged and straight to Brian Lara. So that's three on the trot now for Ian Healy as Australia lose their sixth wicket. Well, that was well bowled, but Healy was pushing out a long, long way there. That's hit in the air, could be out after he's running with the ball, he should catch this, he does, Ambrose gets five. Big Merck for him down the ground, that was a fine catch. Great fast bowler has Australia on the rocks here at the Wacker. He's picked up five for one. This was a wicket that Australia could ill afford to lose. They've already lost most of their specialist batsmen. Merv Hughes really had a job to do to stick with Damien Martin. He's decided to go on the attack and he's only managed to sky one up. He's got another one. He's got six for one. What a magnificent spell. The half ball he's had for a straight to second slip. This is one of the best efforts ever at the Wacker. Uh, this great fast bowler. Seeing Kirtley Ambrose bowl the perfect whacker length. Gets it up there to try and get the batsman driving. It's seven for one. He's got another one. What a spell. Magnificent bowling. Australia nine for 104. Angel out for duck. I think we talked earlier in the series about just how unlucky Kirtley Ambrose is. And if he has a day on where he hits the edge all the time, it'll be worth watching. It's a full pitch, that'll go for four. Captain Yorker, 
12 runs off the...